Let's draw the Lewis structure for CH2O. This is formaldehyde. With the Lewis structure for formaldehyde, first thing we do, count the total number of valence electrons. If we look at the periodic table here, we see carbon right here. That is in group 14, sometimes called 4A, four valence electrons. Hydrogen, group one, all of these have one valence electron. We have two hydrogen atoms. And then oxygen right here, group 16, sometimes called 6A, six valence electrons. Four plus two plus six, that gives us 12 total valence electrons for the CH2O Lewis structure. We'll put the least electronegative atom in the center of the Lewis structure, but hydrogen will always go on the outside. So carbon goes in the center, we'll have hydrogens and oxygens on the outside, like this. Next, we'll put a pair of electrons between the atoms. That's going to form the chemical bond. So let's put two here. So we formed our chemical bonds. So far, we've used two, four, six. We have 12. Let's complete the octet on the outside atom, on the oxygen. So now the oxygen, that has an octet, and we're using 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 valence electrons. Hydrogens, they have two, and that's all they need. But the carbon in the center, that only has six, so it does not have an octet. What we can do is if the central atom does not have an octet, we're going to move some electrons to form a double or a triple bond. So let's move these here to the center. That forms our double bond. Now the oxygen has eight, the carbon has eight, each hydrogen has two, and we've only used 12 valence electrons. This is the Lewis structure for CH2O. Sometimes you'll see it written like this here, where each line represents a pair of electrons, and we don't draw the lone pairs on the oxygen. And if you want to look at the molecular geometry, it looks like this, which would be trigonal planar. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for CH2O, formaldehyde. Thanks for watching.